my last video, I talked about trying to get away from listing events. So your story isn't just a list of so-and-so did this, then they did this, then they did this. One of the ways to move away from that list is to have good descriptions of your surroundings. And I want to talk a little bit about different ways to organize a paragraph describing your surroundings. And how you organize it is going to depend a bit on what you are looking at. Sometimes it makes sense to start your description by describing things from the ground up. What was the grass like? What were the trees like? What did you see way above you? Here I am in what some of my students and I have named Elvendale, an elven kingdom, and it really centers on the height of the trees and the strength of the trees moving up into the air. So if I was describing this, I might describe it from the point of view of somebody standing on the ground, looking way up. Talking first about what they see low on the ground and then moving upward with my description. On the other hand, if my story involved the person being on the walkways above, I might move my description around. I might start having the person describe the walkways and then circle around, talk about the big tall tree with the vines hanging down, the trees and towers in the distance, and then the white castle where the elven king and queen live. If I wanted to emphasize the beauty of that castle, and perhaps that's the destination my character is trying to get to, I would have that the end of my description. I would start by describing other things first, and then leave with the description of the castle. And how could I describe this castle? I could describe it in Minecraft terms of quartz blocks. I could describe the number of towers on it. I could describe how it makes my character feel. Perhaps they feel insignificant next to it. Perhaps they're feeling in awe or inspired. Perhaps they're relieved because they've been on a long journey trying to get here. Sometimes it makes sense to describe something from the top down. What does the castle look like at the top? And then end with the door that the player is going to walk through. Here is another location on my server. This is the Dorvan Kingdom. How I would describe it would depend a bit on what I am trying to do in my description. Am I trying to awe the reader with the grandeur of the kingdom? Am I describing it as the destination of weary travelers? Perhaps what they would see is the long stairs they have to walk up to get to the gate, the long hallway they have to trudge through before they can make it to the king or queen's chamber room. Perhaps what draws their attention is the stable to the side, the soft ground, the comfortable flames, the torches, the possibility of getting off their horse and having a rest. This week in your writing, I want you to 
try, if it works with your story, to include a description of one of your settings. Try to think of how you could describe it. Now you could describe it in terms of Minecraft things, in terms of Minecraft blocks. You can also describe it as if it was built outside of Minecraft, as if it was a real castle, a real forest, a real house. Describe it in a way that fits with your story, but think about how you organize that description. Sometimes it's tempting to describe something in just one or two words. It was a big, beautiful castle. But try to go into more detail. Try to fill a whole paragraph with one description of a place so that we can really see it in our mind. Thank you. Bye.